हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो ऑफर रिलेटेड टू आवर इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर टूडेज क्लास दैट इज टॉप फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग यूनिक words our first word is that is nudistertian nudistertian means what means not comparable not comparable at all and also rare very rare we can call a uh, nudistertian it is the form of an adjective the word it is in the form of adjective it means uh, Uh, let's uh, very easily uh, to make it simple let's uh, to make it simple the word nudistertian refers to two days ago refers to two days ago that is to say the that is to say the day before yesterday <clears throat> and uh, also unfortunately unfortunately uh, it has fallen unfortunately it has fallen into disuse although it is far more melodious also it's a very melodious word and also than the day before yesterday so let's call new year's thirtieth exactly so let's learn our second important word that is quire quire it is a it means it is a form of a noun it is a form of noun uh, you surely must have at one time or another wanted to order in english 24 or 25 sheets of paper uh, without here having to say i would like 24 or 25 pages 25 sheets of paper please write please say the problem solved that is ask for a choir it is the enough to say don't ask with 24 of sheet 25 sheets don't ask with that just ask i want i need one choir choir that's it so let's learn our third important another one word that is yar borrow yar borrow it is in the form of noun it is also in the form of noun uh, you can take uh, another particularly useful term for daily life especially if you play bridge if you play bridge in which case you may already be familiar with it at all events you probably know that unpleasant feeling unpleasant feeling of having a hand where no cards is higher than that's a yar borrow hand you can say easily yar borrow hand exactly this is called yar borrow our another one important word that is winkle picker winkle picker it is a form of a noun it is in the form of noun and uh, it's someone it's some day you ever managed to prepare when you managed to prepare molus skip word using uh, points shoes using points of uh, shoes this will illustrate perfectly this will illustrate perfectly the sense of uh, a winkle picker it is looking like a, a very unique and very hard word but it mean that means is very easily and pleasantly you can understand that is the meaning let's learn our another one important that is eulotrichus or allo allo tree chos you can say both it is an adjective it's always the same story men and women who are allotrichos or don't want it this way while those who are who are this world who are uh, this world is not you do like into be this way and also the same way of course of course exactly allotrichos refers to people who own with curly hair 
curly hair people we can say you know three years okay it is a form now let's come to the another word uh, i think it would be a little bit hard to pronounce that is kakora fio phobia what is that kakora fio phobia it is a little bit hard it is a, a form of it is the form of a noun in the grammar content if you suffer from this if you suffer from this then you would very much rather not have this word rather not this word appear in a spelling base since it describes the fear or failure kakora phobia phobia word express only failure or fear that's it Let's come to the last word that is zeds zeds I know I don't know I don't know exactly how could our people describe um explain or express uh, I express this word that is uh, zeds zeds uh, I don't know exactly uh, zeds uh, it is in the form of a verb it is in the form of verb it means uh, who would have would have imagined it this is not the name of the villain of the horror movie it is not a name it is not the name of the movie of horror movie villain or science fiction movie but but my dear friends the act of gulping something down in haste another word that you may not find in a dictionary i don't know you can find it in the dictionary or not i don't know zers means water may not a uh, gulping something gulping something you can call easily zers that's it so lastly i hope you understood thank you take care bye bye